Hello, crypto boys and ghouls, and welcome back to the channel, Tales from the Cryptmancer, where we feature content on play and earn games on the blockchain, such as Parallel. And in today's video, I wanted to walk through a strategy for all of my Augencore players out there that might be struggling in the ranked wars right now, beating and fighting against New Dawn, specifically. Uh, Shroud New Dawn is a challenge to the Augen Core starter deck where you pull up against a New Dawn Shroud team and you just kind of shake your head because the matchup is very, very poor and there's a good chance you're going to lose even if you get perfect card draw and you play it perfectly. But have no fear, this video is going to show you a strategy that you might be able to take advantage of to win you some games for New Dawn. And oh boy, those victories against New Dawn when you're using an Augencore starter deck are so, so sweet and definitely worth the effort. So let's go into the strategy. Let's talk about the strength of New Dawn and also its weakness and how we're going to use that to strike back against the New Dawn here. So here is the Shroud Paragon, the New Dawn. You can see uh, the details for this Paragon, it is very, very powerful. Um, its active ability is the unit can't be targeted by effects when it's played. It's a 3-3 unit. Activate, spend one energy, banish this unit, and at the start of your next turn, return this unit to the field and put a card from your Singularity into your hand. Why is this super powerful as an active ability for Shroud? Well, I mean, banishing units... Uh, is obviously uh, as a active effect by spending one energy can really buff up your singularity stewards and that really is a nice free uh, i guess it's a what a plus two plus one to them and not only that but it gives you card draw from your singularity and your singularity towards especially towards the end game after a new dawn player has used Demoleculize once or twice or maybe three times to clear your board well they have plenty to pull from their singularity to use against you um, and that's no fun uh, but here's where the weakness of the new dawn comes in where augen core can take advantage of that the passive ability reads the first time a card leaves your singularity each turn deal one damage to a random enemy and reveal a random enemy bank card now this is where, as far as I'll go, because this is really all we need to know, is uh, you know the every turn uh, the new dawn is going to come back, uh, and it's going to cause one damage to a random enemy, and this is what we're going to take advantage to because once the new dawn is placed in the singularity for uh, shroud, it comes out next turn and does one damage. And this is what we're going to use. Let me show you some gameplay and let's talk through how the strategy becomes super valuable. So this was from a recent battle where I was playing against New Dawn Shroud and ranked battles. You can see here, I've got my token down. I've got board control. I've got big bulky units on the board ready to go face against this New Dawn player. Uh, he pulls in and, well, he's going to, I believe, pull a demock there out of the Singularity and nuke my board. And this is the second time he's demoleculized my board. So his, his Singularity is chock full of my, my units that he is going to just play against me for the rest of the game until I lose. You can see there there's 12 units in the Singularity. Uh, a total of 11 of them are probably a combination of mine and his. So what are we going to do here? Well, we can just see we have a clear board. We pulled a 1-1 here in a Mercenary Gunslinger, and we're going to use it on a clear board. Uh, you could use Innovative Apprentice. You could take your chances with an Automation Expert or other cards. We're going to put that kill switch there, and here's the magic. The New Dawn comes in. It randomly does one damage to an enemy unit, it's going to kill our mercenary gunslinger, and then bam, we kill switch his new dawn. Now his ability to effectively pull from the singularity and pull cards now is at risk. And if you look at his, at this stage of the game, 
uh, he's down to one card left in his deck before he starts taking damage when he starts milling or, or drawing cards. Now, ideally, we would have liked to have set that up earlier in the game so he could have uh, taken out his new dawn much earlier than that end game stage, uh, which would have eliminated his card draw very early on in the game. But we weren't able to set up that scenario where we could really get like either 100% or 50% or even a 33% chance that new dawn would hit and kill a kill switch unit. But again, this is kind of the strategy that you can employ with Augencore versus New Dawn to get rid of New Dawn against a savvy player that's not going to leave it out there to die otherwise. Now, it takes a little bit of fishing. When I say fishing, I mean you have to kind of bait uh, your opponent. You have to play cautiously and measured, meaning that you start the game at a pace where you're not really putting stuff on the board um, and you're kind of challenging you know, the New Dawn player to place units on the board and go to your face. Uh, because if they don't have a lot of cards early on played from your side, they can't banish Life Siphon, you know, Void Runner, and all kinds of other things to get their the uh, cards in the singularity that they can use against you. So you kind of pace it, cause them frustration, and then unleash that either Innovative Apprentice or Mercenary Gunslinger, or you can even use a Hardlink Pilot that has one health left somehow and just drop that kill switch on there and then bam new dawn goes away and you're probably saying tails that is not possible that's a once in a million chance of doing that and i will say no i've actually done it several times uh and i've done it on stream several times now and we're going to show you one such battle here that happened earlier today from our twitch stream and we're going to play it for you here uh, i'll probably cut some of it down because the battle is quite long but let's go to the clip and see this strategy in action. If he lets this slip through, we're going to take out that new Dawn. Oh, uh, it did not let it slip through. We tried, though. Uh, what do we do here? We make him... We force him to take our token, right? So here's the thing, is right now, if I just keep the current board, we have a 33% chance that we kill his new dawn when it comes in, because it'll do one damage to the mercenary gunslinger and then we'll kill switch his new dawn. So I'm not going to deploy anything this turn. Um, and I'm actually going to keep both of those at this point. Let's see. 33% chance that we cripple this new Dawn player right now. Let's go. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. 
Yes, sir. And that's how we do. That new Dom player is cursing right now, saying lots of bad things. him to burn all of his remaining banishes. All right, so we, sh I mean, he's got Demok, but we technically have more cards to draw and we have tokens, so in theory, if we play this right, we have a good chance to win. Alright, he's played his entire hand here. So this is good news for us. Because we have AOP and a token coming up. about to curse a little bit more, sir. I think they've given up. I'm happily just clearing units and taking 5 damage here and there because I know he's got Demok and he's only got 12 cards here and we've got tokens so 
Happy just to needle away at this guy. Build up our second board. Here's his demock that he wanted to find. Or banish. not what we wanted, but that's okay. It's not what we wanted. I guess we spent too much time thinking about that. He just took his card draw down to seven. Chose poorly, it's okay. And I did it all for love. Yes, I did it all for love. Oh, they say fools believe in it. So I guess I'm one of them. Don't you know? I fell for fools. God, I fell for fools. We're drawing pretty bad. We've drawn a 1-1-2 one, one, and a f black market fixer that we haven't been able to use. Um, we have no upgrades. We have no defenders. Uh, we're kind of in bad shape. don't want to do this but I kind of have to um, get that AOP right now. Wait. 
I was surprised that he did that, honestly. I should have just attacked his siphoner. So he's gonna pull Otter Steward out of here, which is not good for us. He's probably gonna pull this Otter Steward. No. What did he pull? Oh, he pulled the uh, PS8 launcher? This is a lot of time if I lose this game, I'm gonna be upset. I still haven't drawn my AOP. So I still have one more left, but it's not gonna matter. I'm dead. <laughs> Just got really bad card draw. Honestly. We got no uh, we got no upgrades that we could attach to this as a defender. We got no AOP. We just kind of drew dead. Um for the last basically five turns. unfortunate I'm surprised he didn't go face, to be honest with you, but um, we still have no second AOP. gonna come too little too late I believe all right he's drawing his last card so he's gonna start taking damage now so he's got 
five cards to play. There's his demog. Okay, start taking damage now. Using Demock again. He has to Demock again if he has it, right? Give me, I have a 33% chance of pulling AOP. Can I find it? Can we, can we bank the nuts right now? <laughs> no, of course not. Uh, it's one of the last two cards remaining here. <laughs> uh, sheesh. Did he just mess that up? Did he have lethal and didn't use it? <laughs> we we st <laughs> the one card, the last card is the AOP, our second AOP, and we couldn't pull it. Wow, that's horrible. I think we we still have a chance here actually, because uh, we have a token, uh, right? I guess it depends on what he draws. This is a, the last card is an AOP. Cause I'm pretty sure we didn't bank it. Oh my goodness. Look at that. The last card is the AOP that we had to draw. Well, I guess. Sure. Why not? How much damage is he taking now? I think we can win. We're going to take one damage next turn. He's going to take eight. Yeah, he's going to die next turn. We're going to win. <laughs> We're going to win. Yes, sir. He's going to take 16 damage here. We just won. Yeah, let's go. So sorry. He's going to take 16 and it's game over. Yes. So satisfying, so satisfying. All that time, we got the win versus New Dawn. AOP on that last turn, the last draw, it's all good. Shout out to Brazilian Kid, much love. Helped us uh, have a chance to win. I have to clip that and uh, send that to the Brazilian Kid. So there you have it, possibly one of my most epic battles for Ogden Core. Just a classic there. Uh, 
You can see the strategy in action started at the very beginning of that clip and we're able to pull out a win. Now granted, we had a Augencore starter deck with two modifications. We actually had two uh, AOPs, which are the anti-organic pulse cards, uh, courtesy of a donation from the Brazilian kid who joined us on a Twitch stream uh, just a, a day or two ago. So shout out to the Brazilian kid there. That's what I was referring to in the clip on Twitch. Um, you know, having those cards uh, gave us the opportunity to have an AOE board clear in that game, which was huge, allowed us to stay in it. But even so, even without the AOP, there are still opportunities to win with Augencore using the strategy we talked about in this video. I would just say if you don't have an AOP though and you can't delay till the end game, uh, definitely look to uh, get that that play in uh, as soon as possible, right? Try it on somewhere between turns four to eight. See if you can snipe the new Dawn. Again, it's not necessarily a high percentage play, but it is a play. And against new Dawn, well, all you need sometimes is a chip in a chair. And a shout out to the parallel community again, uh, the Brazilian kid uh, with a donation to help us here in our journey here in parallel showing that community spirit, showing really uh, what it is to be in the Web3 gaming community that cares about its players, its content creators, and its game. So good stuff. I hope this was enjoyable for everyone to see. Hopefully it was informational as well. And until next time, keep stacking those stats.